in the eventide of day, when the sun is passing from this world to the next, the gods of time clasp hands and dance about the sky, tempting dreamers to stray from safe havens. As I sit beneath the father oak, bound in a spell by nature's casting, I weary of the netherworld in which I dwell, of things fragmented and torn, of impenetrable stone and unkind sounds, of blank faces and stolen hours. I see what is not there, and I know what I cannot see. I live in frozen earth, my own body a heavy mass of clay, too unformed to know space. Yet within the lump of earth that is me, in the cold wasteland of my life, a flower, sweet and scented, grows. As I ponder the fluid petal coverlets of my soul flower, I open the gates of my mind and become undone as golden tresses loosed from maiden days when life flowed gently to the sea. I am silken current, washing the sand crystals into polished light. I sweep away the cluttered world and unravel the layers of time, tracing green paths through my spirit song. On the surface of a pool fed by three springs do I alight. I am full of sensation and life. As the cold, pure water, so am I. Silver fish dart through the crevasses of my bones, and lotus flowers engage my heart to root therein. My limbs are the low branches of the shading trees, and the song of the little frogs rises up from the depths of my swan throat that seems so long and perfect as if it were the passage for all melody. My eyes, they are the reflection of two blue stars blazing their ancient light into the water mirror of my rippling face. I breathe with the breezes that soothe and awaken my spirit and the slow grinding power of my mother beneath me. As I immerse my being into the pool of light and drink deeply from my own origin, I see two golden serpents arising from the waters, coiled about a chalice of perfection. The cup I behold is no relic from the past, nor savior of the future. It is life, transparent to any shading or color or menace of hue that would taint its immortal fire. It is nothing but perfection. The serpents of gold are neither living nor lifeless. They respond to that which seeks a path to the cup. The serpent of the right path has eyes of blue sapphire and speaks the sacred word. The serpent of the left path beholds light through eyes of ruby and sees with the unveiled sight. Up 
ascends the grail from the center of my heart, where the three springs rush together within my pool self. I release longing and offer my cup to the forest. As both the seeker and the quest, I have come from far away in tomorrows to know that I am the eternal day.